run. Asked me to make a quick video of my Cyclops H4 7000 lumen LED bulb. Right now, I'm sitting right now in front of my house, and this is the low beam right here. And pay attention to the house all the way right there. And I'm gonna turn on the the high beam, which is uh, it reaches pretty far. It's lit up over there a little bit. But uh, I don't know about the pattern. I probably have to adjust the headlight a little bit because right here we got a spot right there. This has to be moved a little bit more to the center. But besides that, I can't complain. I mean, this thing is freaking bright, man. Look at that. I mean, everything is just illuminated. All right, GD Warrior. Cyclops H4 7000 lumen book. All right, guys, what's going on? It's your boy GD Warrior. We are standing right here in front of my house one more time, just like in the other video. We are testing a new 10.0 Cyclops H4 LED headlight bulb. I just showed you guys the 7000 lumen version, and this is the 10,000 lumen version. And you can see how much better the pattern is. I mean, look at the spread right here on the sides right and left and uh, obviously I need you know a little bit more fine-tuning on my headlight itself but uh, this whole area right here everything this just this whole area right here is uh, completely filled with light and uh, I don't know if you can see this but right there is a house so I'm gonna turn on the high beam right now and you s you'll see uh, how far the LED bulb reaches see and also what I like about um, the new pattern seems like on the low beam they fill out the whole area right here and the high beam it's more narrow but pretty pretty far I mean the whole the house over there is completely illuminated <laughs> so uh, this is it I don't I still have to make just a little bit of adjustment, not much, you know, it's actually pretty good the way it is. However, I'll do it and um, let's go for a quick ride in a, in a very dark street. I'm gonna take it slowly so you guys can check out the, the pattern. So what I love about it is that everything in front of me is illuminated. Even in front of my tire, I didn't have that with the uh, 7000 lumen bulb. The 7000 lumen bulb the beam pattern was a little strange even though it produced very good light but it will it will have a light spot very far in front of me on the ground but the area right in front of me will be dark and I wouldn't see anything there but here you can see the whole street is illuminated you know I barely made any adjustment I moved it a little bit to the right on the headlamp itself but right here you can see that uh, everything is nicely illuminated let's turn on the high beam look at that low beam high beam low beam high beam yeah let's turn let's turn right here and uh, Because here it's nice and dark, you see that? And everything is just lit up. You see the signs? I see all the signs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven signs in front of me. I mean this 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 light bulb is great guys. Look at that. I'm on high beam right now. Low beam. High beam, low beam. So when you go to low beam, the pattern is wider, as you can see. If you go to high beam, it's a little bit more narrow, but it's much wider. It reaches much wider. <coughs> yeah, let's, let's take a quick stop. Okay, let's turn on the high beam. 
See, it reaches all the way to the school right there. Even the building is lit up. There's one thing that I gotta mention that I didn't like about uh, the 10,000 lumen version, and that's the length of the cable. As Yamaha Roadster Warrior owners, we don't have so much room in the headlight bucket, you know. Um, some people, they take the rubber boot off and install the headlights <clears throat> without the rubber boot. Some people leave it on, you know. Um, now, here's, here's the problem with the 10,000 lumen bulb. The issue there is, in the 7,000 lumen version, the cable is much shorter than in the 10,000 lumen version. We don't have so much room in the, in the headlight bucket that we uh, have to improvise in order to make space for, for the uh, light bulb. What I did is I took the rubber boot off. I took it off at the 3800 version and at the 7000 lumen version. I, ha I had each uh, bulb for around between six months and a year or longer. And nothing ever ha happened, everything was fine. I did this just to create room. So that's the only negative that I can say about the 10,000 lumen bulb. Other than that, everything is completely fine. Everything is better, the quality is better. And guess what? They don't charge you a higher price, you know, that's what I like too. So they are nice and fair and honest company. Oh, it's definitely worth to upgrade from the 7,000 to the uh, to the 10,000. So this is the end of the video. I'm about to turn uh, to turn uh, into my driveway. Uh, if you know somebody out there who can benefit from this video, please share it with him. And uh, if you find this video valuable to you, uh, please hit the subscribe button, <clears throat> like and comment below. This was my review. Thanks guys for tuning in. And I see you guys in the next video. So stay tuned. It's your boy, GD Warrior.